Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on SQL to SQL developer. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn few more functionalities about SQL developer. So let's start today's tutorial. So once you go to the SQL developer and create connection, the connection you can see in the left panel. We can minimize this. For example, you can expand this and you can filter it and you or you can means minus it or collapse it out so what this collapse means like you can select it and suppose if you expanded all this right you can just select this and it will collapse so let me uh, this is just page is loading so let me select and let me collapse so collapse means like grouping together or get, getting it back so that is one option. The other option we'll explore one by one by one. For example, if you go to the file, you can create a new file. So if you click on the new, a blank page will come. It means based on what new you want to create, you want to create database connection, you want to create a new table, you want to create a view or package or procedure. Normally we select the SQL file. So it will take us to a, a new dialog box and asking give the name to the SQL file. So I would say demo SQL or demo let me give this like SQL tutorial 3 demo and click OK. So it will open this page. You can see the file name whatever we gave is appearing at the top. Let me close the other uh, pages. So this file is saved so you can change the location also for example if you want to save this file to some other location click on the save as and provide the location where you want to save it by default it saves this location wherever the your app data is maintained now if you know the table you can give the table name and maybe you can run a search queries or just expand this by default uh, you can take the uh, you can get the uh, table names by expanding the table section inside this schema so let me give this name select star from suppose c b e l c t r a d so something like that you can give select it by using control a or you can even if you just keep your um, mouse uh, the cursor and there is a two action button the first action button is nothing but if you have only one SQL to execute use this so it will ask us to connect which database you want to connect just there will be what are the multiple databases what are your configured those will appear just select what you want to execute click OK and it will execute and it will give us a result on this table now Suppose um, we want to see something else like um, for example the other options. Let me close this out. Instead of that let me see if I get some other information. So as I said in previous like, tutorial you can click this each table and you will get the information automatically. So that, that details you know. So what information you can get, you can get the what kind of columns you have. In, if you go to the data, you will see the what actual data it contains. Then you'll have the constraint. What are the constraints available on that table? You have the grant, statistics, triggers, flashback, dependencies, details, partitions, index, and SQL. Actually SQL to create this table. So you'll get all this information in this section. The other thing is, um, suppose if I go here and uh, the other option which I was talking about, the first option is to execute one statement. But if you have multiple statements to execute at one time, like suppose, let me give something like this, select count from C 
be party. This is another table. And I would like to get the same details for suppose first query. So I have two queries and I would like to execute at the same time and also want the result in the same page. Yes, you can get that. Uh, you can not necessarily just two statements, you can write n number of statements and you can execute here. But as soon as you click on execute without selecting any particular statement, it will execute all the statements which are present on this page. Let me write one more statement like select count from C A D D R type. So I'm this time I have this three statements, right? So how the results will look? I will show you the differences. So if you want to clean this result, you have the several options about doing we can perform on this result. You can pin it, you can clear it, means you can clear the screen. If you want to save this result, you can save it. If you want to print, of course you can print it. And the last option is run script output as a script, means you will run this program one more time. So whatever it is printed, it will be acting as a script. So let me clean. So you can do this way. You can select, and if you try to delete, it will not delete. You have to just select, no need to select. Just click on this clear button. So it will clean whatever present on this console. So as I said, if you want to execute all these statements on the first edit page, click run script. So it will execute all these statements and the result will be displayed. But if you want to execute particularly particular statement, for example, you want to execute first two statements, statements only how the results will look like. Let me clear the output. So if you want to execute the first two, you have to select this particularly, like use the cursor here and drag it and execute it. This time it will execute just first two statement. If you don't select, it will execute everything. This, so this is the way you can execute. If you notice, if I execute of query here let me execute like the statement here it is giving in the blank screen or blank console but the, if i execute the same statement using this run statement it will take me to this different kind of screen where the, you have the rows and columns so that is the difference so if you execute multiple statement using the run script it will print on the same console. So these, these are the two different basic things. Now suppose I want to execute this statement on another database or another schema. You have to select that. On the right hand side you can change the schema and then execute the statement. As long as this table present in that other schema you will get the result. Otherwise you will get this error saying that table overview does not exit. You can change back this schema to whatever your original one and execute and you, this time you get the result. So these are the two things you can just tweak these changes. Now once you write your script going forward I would recommend when you write any statement on your page make sure you save it. So in order to save that you have to use this single save icon. If you have the multiple pages open, for example, if you click this, it will take to this screen. Like, I can just make it another copy. Whenever you have this multiple pages edited, right? So let me, yeah. So this time, you have two pages edited: Untitled and SQL Total 3 Demo. You can save both of them using Save All option. That is very basic functionality about this tool, which is also available in on any other tool as well. So you can do the save, you can do the save as, you can do save all. So these are the basic options available. If you're making any changes, you want to revert it, you can just do undo insert. It will go to the sub back, back level. You want to cut, copy, paste. 
basic functionalities you can have or you can use the control C, control V or control X, control V for the basic operation. The name the normal which work on the other Windows application. Then uh, we have the, the all the instances which we created if you go to the left panel all the instances which we created are also available here if you want to open any directory and you want to uh, use any SQL file you can just click on this open icon one dialog box will open and you can like navigate to this dialog box and select the whatever the file you want to use and the file will be available now the next tab is edit so edit has a copy paste very basic functionality also you can delete etc so this functionality is also available in this edit option now views so if you see there are various views available right now we have the like the connection view we have the report view we have editor view similarly other views also available let me show you the data miner view you can go to the data miner and select structure it will take me a structure view similarly you can pick whatever the uh, view you want to use I just selected the task view so I can see this unit testing then uh, let me map view if you want to use map view I can see the map view here so all these kind of views are available now suppose um, you want to unselect it let me exit out if you want to unselect it there is X button at the corner you can just click on that and this page will go similarly you can just exit out or minimize whatever the, the action you want to play so those kind of views are available and these are these views will help pull uh, as you go forward like for example this view uh, I, I just click on the SQL history so if you are executing multiple statement over the period of time it keeps the history of the execution for example I created this file I executed a couple of statements so these are very old you can check the date also when this uh, SQL was created and it has good history so you can just pick that and the query is available here so let me clear one more time let me pick this statement and the query is available so you don't have to type this queries so automatically you have to just select and this this will be available for to use so this is very good feature to have so that you can execute any query whatever you created previously this is very interesting and I, I use normal that you can have the DBMS output as a uh, one of the view where you can see the output for example uh, let me execute let me see if I get some data here so the table is not exit here so but if you are executing any procedure or DBMS script your output will be displayed here so those are the basic things about views then then we have the navigate like go to the line number or go to last edit etc if you want to execute um, there are a couple of statement available for example let me exit out let me exit out exit out so if you have any uh, statements and you are in the debug mode then you can do the execution like you can step over or you can step into or you can step out for the debug execution or if you are running a long query you, you can pause it or you can stop it or you can resume it if it is already paused so those kind of things you can do in the run actions we have the versioning like the you can if this SQL developer tool is associated with the repository manager you can maintain that code in the versioning tool also then we have the tools such as migration tool unit testing tool data miner database copy if you want to completely copy your database you can just click copy will which we'll see in the upcoming session uh, you can compare the databases you can export the database so those are the couple of actions you can do in the tools and also finally we have the help action where it will give you the more information about this tool you can go to the search box and you can explore this 
options so normally these are the basic information I think you need to know before starting using this SQL developer I hope this tutorial will give you some idea about this tool and I have some more interesting facts to show you guys in upcoming session so keep watching this space if you like this video hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you for your support and love have a nice time